Good morning. Um, I would like to share with you a bit about my time in Africa. So I was there for six weeks. Um, I just got back uh, a couple of weeks ago and I was first four weeks in Namibia and then two weeks in Zimbabwe. Um, so this is my first experience of going to Africa. I've been wanting to go there since um, I was 18. So um, that was really a fulfillment of God to bring me there. Um, so I was leading a team of 15 people and we were working mostly with kids um, and families from the poorer um, areas of the community in Namibia. So we did um, a lot of kids camps. Um, so we would do dramas with them. We would do preachings. We had um, food for them. We would cook meals for them every day because some of them would only get one meal a day normally and we brought a lot of um, clothes to donate to them because some of them they don't even have shoes so we were really just trying to um, show them that God loves them and to share his light and we were just so overwhelmed by the openness of the people there and um, they were so open they were so hungry for God we would go into the um, the community where they lived um, and they would live in these metal um, huts um, that they built themselves and they wouldn't have running water, they wouldn't have electricity. Um, yeah, um, most of them just had a, a small room as their house um, but they were just so hungry for God um, and they would ask us, oh please come and teach us the Bible, we want to know more about it. and. Um, we were just so overwhelmed by them wanting to know more about God um, in in these situations, you know, and just the gratitude they had of receiving this uh, this hot meal or these clothes, and you could just see on their face, wow, they were just so overwhelmed by by this blessing, and it it really just put things into perspective for me of wow, we have so much here, but uh, sometimes we we live our day as if we have nothing, as if we're empty. Um, but these people were just so overwhelmed by um, by us giving them a hot meal, by us giving them shoes to wear. They were just so, um, just with uh, really big smiles on their faces. So it just really showed me to enjoy the little things in life and to to not take those things for granted because those are really blessings from God also. The fact that we have a beautiful house to live in, a comfy bed and all these things that they are blessings from God. Um, then we made our way over to Zimbabwe. Um, so Zimbabwe, we were more going into schools. So we did a lot of school assemblies, which was really fun. We would do dramas with them and we ended up going uh, viral around their social media. And we had more schools calling us up and saying, oh, we want you to come in and uh, because your your drama is really um, pointing out the things that the children are struggling with here. And uh, there was just such an openness for people wanting God in their schools. And um, the thing I took away from my whole six weeks in Africa was people are just so um, open to God. And you can talk about God wherever you are. And I don't know if, um, yeah, everyone is aware, but in England, um, God is being restricted a lot more in schools. Um, school, um, hymns are being taken out of, and, um, many things that were usual for me growing up at school, um, are not there anymore. So to find, um, 
these places in Zimbabwe where they were so openly sharing about God. Um, I just, I went to the head teacher of one of the schools. And I said, don't take this for granted. Um, this is not normal anymore in England and especially not in London where I live. Um, you don't have, um, people talking about Jesus in this way. I think what I want to, to share today is that, um, we, we can't take for granted, um, these things in life, this openness to speaking about God, because we don't know, um, if it's going to stay the same in England. Um, England was once a very, um, open country to Jesus. And while, um, there's still maybe, um, yeah, parts where, yeah, you're not going to face the same persecution as if you went to India or these other places. Um, there's still going to be, um, these moments when, when we're going to face some sort of persecution for what we believe. Um, so I can see it already happening within schools, um, within other places, maybe work where we're not so, um, yeah, people are not so tolerant of Christians anymore. So I think that we really need to um, continue to share our light um, wherever we are and continue to, um, yeah, just be, be a light in our communities, um, whether it's in our workplace, or whether we work in a school um, or we have children um, who are going to school. Um, currently, that we um, encourage them to to be a light in those places, um, because it's not things that we can take for granted. Actually, these things can easily be taken away if we become too passive and if we um, just go along with the flow of other things. Um, but God, God calls us to to be a city on a hill, a light shining for Him. And that's uh, the passage that I want to share today is to be that city on a hill, to be that light shining for him that others can see. Um, how can you today, um, if you're watching this in the morning before you uh, start your day, how can you today um, be that light to your community? How can you make sure that more people um, hear about him and that um, Christianity doesn't just fade away um, into the background in England. Um, also, how can you um, be thankful for what you have today? Maybe um, a hot meal isn't something that um, excites you or makes you think, uh, wow, like this is a blessing. Um, but I've seen that when we are thankful for the little things, it enriches um, our whole day, it enriches our life because, um, yeah, we, we start to see um, in the small things that God is, is blessing and God is moving. Um, so it can start with something as small as, as just having a, a meal in front of you um, and those things can really uh, be um, something that, we think, oh, wow, this is actually something that I'm thankful for. I, I have food in my fridge. Um, I don't need to worry about where I'm going to get my water from. Yeah, this is my um, devotion today. Um, these are the things that I picked up when I was in Africa that I wanted to share with you. I hope that these are things that you can take into your day. And what I would just encourage you to pray for is um, just to um, continue to to see God in the day to day because um, sometimes we lose sight of Him um, in all the busyness, in all of the um, things that are happening. We wait for the big moments to come before we realize that God is moving. Um, but today, take the time to see where God is moving in the little things. And actually, that can really um, make your day a lot better. And how can you be a light today? And that's my prayer is that you would um, pray and ask God, okay, where can I show you today 
who can I show you to today? And um, how can I um, share your light with others around me? So thank you for listening and I hope you have a good day.